we want to look at the parable of the vineyard and I hope we are excited about parables we have many and let's see how we can look at them and see them as a way of understanding sacred scripture as I mentioned most of them are from Matthew's gospel Matthew 21 33 to 46 you can also find it in Mark chapter 12 1 to 12 Luke 29 to 19 but to make it easy we just look at Matthew but in your private time you can look at you can look at the other listen to another parable there was a man listen again a man a landowner who planted a vineyard he fenced it round dog a wine dog a wine pressed and built a tower then leased it to tenants and went abroad so the very first line says the man did all that was possible in his vineyard he was a landowner who planted planted he fenced he dug he built he leased and he said look everything is i will go abroad let's look at our own lives you work hard parents to mind your children whether you grow up in a big family like mine ten or you have one little child or two or god bless you with three you work very hard eh? you have the house and the car and the property and the beach house and you make your little will you do everything that is humanly possible and you leave them and you go abroad what wrong did you do i don't think you did anything wrong when vintage time drew near, verse 34, he sent his servant to collect his produce. So like you, you're going abroad, so you call up your daughter, your nice little daughter whom you love, to find out how she going, how this one going, how the brother going, how the, the right? But what did the tenants do? They killed one, they seized another, they stoned a third. You as well, you're so lovely, and you call back again, hey, what is going on? You know Bacchanal taking place in Trinidad while you are away. Whether it's the States, Canada, Africa, India, wherever part of the world. And then you say, look now, let me send a delegate to find out. They will respect. And what did they do? No respect for the landowner. No respect for the delegate. The only son, no respect. Bacchanal, shame and scandal in the family. Isn't that our story? How many times we have our property, we have things, we do our best, oh God, for our children who we groom, our nephews, our grandchildren, whom we educate. And what happened now? They played man and woman for us. Hurts us a lot. So let us read that passage over and over again. The parable of the vineyard. A man had, he did everything that is possible. Went abroad, sent one, sent two, sent three, sent everybody. And no good results. When, the parable, when they heard the parable, the chief priest and scribe realized he was speaking about them. So when we hear this parable, we realize Jesus is speaking about us. All of us who listen to these videos, right? Jesus is speaking about us. What message can we grasp? What message can we learn from this parable so that we can become closer and closer to the Master? Amen.